Hey phone dogs, Bo HD here, and over the weekend, the iPhone 6 was officially launched, and so I thought I would go ahead and run a few benchmarking applications to sort of test out the speed and processing power of the all-new iPhone 6, so that you can sort of get an idea as to how fast this phone is, and so that you can really compare the results with your device. So I have a few benchmark applications that I'm going to run, but I first want to start with Geekbench 3, which will give you a very accurate and reputable score. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a bit so you don't have to wait for it. But as you can see, when it's all done, we got a single core score of 1632 and a multi-core score of 2929, which is pretty darn impressive. And as we scroll along here, we'll see some more detailed scores under the integer floating point and memory categories, which are also quite good, especially considering the fact that the iPhone 6 has one gigabyte of RAM and a dual core processor inside. Now, the other benchmarking application that I'm going to run is called Performance Test Mobile, or Mobile, depending on how strange you are. <laughs> it's actually one of the standard benchmarking apps on the App Store, and as you can see, it's not really optimized for the larger display, but that doesn't really matter too much because it'll still serve a good reference point when comparing the scores to other iOS devices. But this app does measure a lot of similar areas that the Geekbench 3 test measured in that it tests how fast the CPU can handle mathematical operations, along with encryption tests and compression tests. And it'll also measure 2D and 3D graphics as well, so it's a pretty decent all-around benchmarking application. But once it's all done, I'll go ahead and submit my results here online, and if we zoom in, we can see that we got a score of 5,277 for the average pass mark rating. It'll break down all the scores for each area tested, so if you're really interested, you can view that if you'd like. But as you can see, the iPhone 6 is certainly the fastest Apple product to date, which isn't really much of a surprise. I did find it interesting, though, how the iPhone 5S did beat out the iPhone 6 Plus on this test, but it's probably due to the larger display and the processing power required to push all those pixels, so I guess it makes sense. Now the last benchmarking app that I want to test and show you guys with the iPhone 6 is the 3D Mark application, which is a rather familiar benchmarking application, you guys might have heard of it. It's generally used to test primarily the graphics of a device. And so I went ahead and ran the standard Ice Storm Unlimited test, which they call it. It basically is just another all-in-one benchmarking application that tests just about everything you could want it to test. And what I really like about it is that it is cross-platform, so whatever device you may have, whether it's a smartphone, tablet, desktop, PC, laptop, whatever it is, it'll be able to run this test and you can compare the results with Android and iOS devices. So it's not just tied to Apple or it's not just tied to Android. You can compare the results. But anyway, as this is finishing up, as you can see, it runs pretty well and it received a score of one, hold on, scratch that, 17,485, which is definitely not the best, but it's not really terrible either. If we look at the details, we can see that it is just above the Sony Xperia Z2 and just below the HTC J Butterfly in terms of performance. But the graphics test performed at 121.8 frames per second, with the second at 84.4 frames per second, and the physics test at 30.3 frames per second, all of which are very smooth. So the iPhone 6 should be able to handle games like a champ. But that is about all I have to show you guys with these benchmarking applications. I really hope you guys got a better idea as to what kind of performance the iPhone 6 is capable of. Obviously the scores will change a little bit here and there as you run them multiple times, but let me know what kind of scores you got with your phone. I want to see some numbers down below in the comments. But anyway, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thank you guys for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!